Unknown Assembly back again. We're going to keep going on with part seven of Murdered Soul Suspect. We're continuing in the gra in the Ashlands graveyard, and there seems to be a film crew here, or documentary possibly. This is Travis the Ghost Trapper, and we are in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh God! Now, because of the scary history of this town, it's a hotbed for ghosts. Are some of the tortured souls, the screening phantasms from this town's past, still haunting this graveyard? Yeah. The screaming phantasms. Travis, don't you think that's a little over the top? Okay, cut. Dwayne, how many times have I told you, don't correct me on camera? But you can't say that on the show, man. People will laugh. It would help if you knew what you were talking about. Oh, he's got the moonlight behind me. Travis, the Disrespecting Travis ghosts. Now, as you know, since there's such a violent history to this place, What? What was that? Definitely a paranormal event. I heard it too. There's some being. Some spirit. Hello? No, I'm not trying to communicate with your dumb ass. Hey, how you doing? What happened? Field trip gone wrong? No, no, no! Why'd you let the door shut behind you? What are you talking about? No one doesn't know he's dead. The door only opens from the outside. Now you're locked in here too. If I miss my classes or get caught trespassing, I could lose my scholarship. They need to let me out. You mean that this isn't even yours? Of course not. It's starting to creep me out to tell the truth. This was just Kappa Delta Phi's idea of fun. I'm all for the tradition of hazing, but this has gone too far. Just Try the door again, only this time really put your shoulder into it. Trust me, when you get out, your glasses will be the last thing you're thinking about. Another one dead before his time. Ooh, almost missed this. This is nowhere near over. So many deaths, but likely many more yet to come. I can't help but believe this graveyard will only get more full. More about the killing. Joy's mother is afraid the bell killer will strike many more times before he's caught. Uh, most likely, yeah. Let's go up in here. Yeah, I think I found everything I could over there, so. Oh, and we got some demons up on there. Come on, slowly but surely, come back to me. You have been killed again. Oh, oh god, there's there's a few more demons. Get in here. Okay, this is gonna be close. But I need to time it right. Another one back to dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one back to dust. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. close come on and you are dead oh god that was a close one sure is cold out here yeah probably should have brought our warmer jackets so all right you think the witches can win the division this year? 
How can witches? Oh, you mean our football team. Glad she just wants to talk. What's a girl gotta do to get a little affection? I don't know. It's nice. Sure is cold out here. Wow, that was excellent voice acting up in there. Another one for the heirloom. Wow, two of them were discovered right next to each other. Okay, come on. The dark setting of this I like. Rex and Ronan's record. I told Rex about what Ronan told me, about the criminal past. He looked concerned, but not for my safety. He just knows how tough it is to put a life together after building a rap sheet. Even if you completely reform, people don't give you a chance. Hearing this gave me new sympathy for Ronan. He's working so hard to make a life for himself. I'll have to think about this carefully. Oh, man. Okay, come on. Another heirloom. Six more to go. Almost have to make make a circle around the around the cemetery again to find them all. Before I talk to the girl, graveyard historical plaque. The original graveyard was much smaller than it is today because of its proximity to the waterway. It's been used as a quarantine location twice in its history. Once for immigrants uh, from England in 1665, who had developed the Bubonic Plague on their journey across the Atlantic, and once for workers on the Panama Canal, who were sick with the yellow fever in 1904. In both cases, the victims were housed near the graveyard, and when they died in large numbers, expanded. Stop. I'm on your side. I'm trying to figure out who killed you. Uh, well, okay, yeah, I'm a police officer. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm a cop. The police must be really shitty God, at their jobs not to notice the robot tree. You think me. they would... You want me to see something? You think the police would scan the entire cemetery once they found a dead body? Well, yeah, yeah, a dead body. Yep. Contract? What, what, what did he mean by contract? No. no. This is the memory of your murder. You're too young. You shouldn't see this. I agree, but some things must be done to ensure the murder of others are, are not taken. I swear I don't know about any contract. Please! Why are you doing this to me? Who are you? What are you doing? You're him! No! I don't want to... It's Simba. Stop it! Please, just... No. 
he drew on you. His symbol, it must have meant something. Whoa. Painful scream. Yeah, that was definitely a painful scream. That just sent a shiver in my head. And now it's down my spine. Oh, Either that or I'm just fine. cold. I should get back to joy. Alright, so we got that. Now we just make a roundabout. Move the doorway. See if there's anything else in here for me. Four more. I hope there are here. So, yeah, I hope that. Ooh, there's something here. Is it something from Julia? I believe it is. Smoking Ronin. Those cancer sticks are going to drive Roman to an early grade. I know it's something he enjoys, but I had, I had to comfort him today. Confront him today. I said, if you care about living into old age with me, you'll give up these damn things. He said he's given up plenty for me, and that, he, and that should be enough. Not exactly the most sensitive reply, but Ronan is Ronan, and I think he never imagined he would grow to old age. Not with the life he lives. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Come on. See, look at that. There's a dark figure over there. Do you not see him? Enjoy. Ronan, I heard screams and it's good that you're okay. Thank you. Well, I'm still dead. Oh, you found something. Yeah, I did. Bell killer drowned the girl in the lake, let her body float down river. My mother was right. This is a bell killer case. Can you get that flashlight out of my head? Did you find Both anything face? about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is... He's sadistic. One weird thing is that he... He confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her. The contract? I don't think I've seen anything about a contract. Wait, wait, wait. Another case, possible bell killer survivor. Iris Campbell. Diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Again. And where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Is there a place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Of course it is. <sighs> okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um, go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. So I'll meet you at the hospital. Worst nightmare than this. Hey, Julia. So, we'll be together. Be together soon. Hey, Rex. How you doing? Sorry, Julia. I, um, I got some bad news. But don't worry, bro. She already knows. <laughs> I 
Poor Rex. Everything's all right, Rex. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame yourself. And before we do anything, we're going to go back into the Ashlands. Because I want to get that story. Might be a bell killer tech survivor, she might know something. Yeah, yeah. Before I do that, I want to see if I can find the rest of what I need for this. Did I ever go on over here? I don't think I did, actually. Guess I did. Alright. Let's try to find the rest of the artifact. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you got me there. Oh, you got me. Okay, enough with the, with the creepy music. I dealt with the demon. Alright, so almost like he's... Skim through this. Yep, there's another one. And now I just have two more to find. Another tattoo on his back, another woman, but fortunately, only an abstract one, Lady Justice, with the scales, and, but without the blindfold. I asked him what it meant, and for the first time, he said he didn't want to talk about it. I can only guess that he had some traumatic justice isn't blind moments. Maybe he'll just open up later. Is that it? Alright. Hey guys, I forgot. <laughs> I, I missed this sure spot. Ghosts of witches right around this spot. Don't worry, little boy. I'll protect you. That works <laughs> for me. Eh, at least he admits it. Yeah, I like this one. Tonight's gonna be good. Hey, just don't take advantage of her, man. One more. Oh, and there it is. So we finally found the story, and we're going to listen to it. The heirloom. I've always been a kleptomania. It's not that I was lazy or anything. I was just bored. Stolen goods were always more interesting to me. I could just look at whatever it was and relive the exciting memory of the theft itself. Sometimes I was worried that I'd get caught. Other times I was riding an adrenaline rush. 
But it wasn't until the last thing I ever stole that I truly felt afraid. Ooh, what made you feel afraid? I remember it like it was yesterday. Despite the years I've been trying to forget it. My friends and I snuck into a graveyard to drink a few beers like we normally did on a boring weeknight. Lovely. We headed for our usual spot, an old run-down mausoleum. Only this time it was locked. It seemed someone had finally taken an interest in the dead guy it belonged to and didn't appreciate us partying there. So we split up and went looking for a new place. Finally, I found another mausoleum. One of its walls had begun to crumble away, but I squeezed through. The inside looked the same as all the others, except for one thing. Lying there on top of the central tomb was a dusty frame that contained a wreath made of elaborately braided rope. Knowing that antiques were valuable, I took it. I figured I'd wait a week before selling it in case anyone reported it stolen. So when I got home, I hid it at the top of my closet and went to sleep. That night, I had horrible nightmares of a dead-faced hat with rotting flesh. Yeah. No matter how many times I woke up, she always found her way back into my dreams. Over the next few days, the nightmares got worse. I'd wake up only to find clumps of my hair missing and my scalp bleeding. Jeez. I chalked it up to stress and feelings of guilt about stealing from the graveyard. So the next day I went to a pawn shop to sell the wreath and be done with it. I could feel a shiver run down my spine when the pawnbroker informed me that the wreath wasn't made from a rope at all. It was actually made from the human hair of a deceased loved one, uh. as was customary in the late 1800s. Oh, God. I wanted the nightmares to stop, so I sold it to him. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way. Now, I spend my time trying to track it down, hoping to return it so I can finally get some sleep. Well, that, that was lovely. Okay, so, um, fast forward so that we can get over to the psych, psycho, the, um, yeah, the, uh, wherever it is, we gotta go. Okay, so we're going to stop it here. If you liked the video, put, uh, click the like button. Feel free to comment down below. Um, subscribe if you want. Give me a trial run. I hope you do. Have a good time wherever you are. And that's it. Until next time, the Unknown Assembly, signing off.